Now, Governor Romney's proposal that he's been promoting for 18 months calls for uh, a $5 trillion tax cut on top of $2 trillion of additional spending for our military. And he is saying that he is going to pay for it by closing loopholes and deductions. The problem is that uh, he's been asked a over 100 times how you would close those deductions and loopholes, and he hasn't been able to identify them. But I'm going to make an important point here, Jim. Uh, when you add up all the loopholes and deductions that upper-income individuals uh, can, are currently taken advantage of, you take those all away, you don't come close to paying for $5 trillion in tax cuts and $2 trillion in additional military spending. And that's why independent studies looking at this said the only way to meet Governor Romney's pledge of not reducing the deficit or, or, or not uh, adding to the deficit is by burdening middle class families. The average middle class family with children would pay about $2,000 more. Now, that's not my analysis. That's the analysis of economists who have looked at this. And, and that kind of top down, top down economics where folks at the top are doing well, so the average person making three million bucks is getting a $250,000 tax break, while middle class families uh, are burdened further, that's not what I believe is a recipe for economic growth.